By the end of the third day after the explosion, Beirut is full of pain, broken into dust, and shaking the core of this land. What was once referred to as the Switzerland of the East is now the Hiroshima of 2020. We will be listening to the stories of the volunteers and to the people who were affected by this explosion. Speaking for my grandparents, who are down in Manum Khayel where the explosion happened, and their house in which they have lived for 50 more years where they raised their children and their grandchildren. Out of nowhere on a Tuesday night, having dinner, while the explosion happens, it leaves their house all broken and gone. Nothing is left. All doors are on the floor or windows are cracked. All furniture is broken and gone. Everything they have left from this from the last 50 years are all now gone and dirt. The experience left them completely traumatized. Thank God nothing serious happened to them. Except my teta's aunt was in the hospital with a cracked head and two broken knees. But thank God she's alive and still with us. While my childhood home and my mom's childhood home is all gone. Nothing is left, which left my grandparents completely traumatized. I was on my way home on Tuesday when the explosion happened and even though I wasn't at a close proximity, I still felt it and I heard the sound of the second explosion. And then people started rushing uh, to their windows and to their balconies and on the street and all looking towards Beirut and seeing the smoke. Uh, and then uh, my eardrums were <laughs> crazy. I couldn't l- hear for a few hours in my right ear. And uh, our office in Ashafi is completely demolished, is completely on, it's not suitable for work anymore. Thousands of phone calls from friends, from family wanting to check on me and I got home and I watched the news and realized the magnitude of what had, what has happened. I was in complete shock and realizing that many people lost their homes, lost their jobs, lost their everything they've worked for and lost their family, it was truly heartbreaking. So today I went down and volunteered with uh, Animals Lebanon uh, to look for all the lost pets who were terrified at the time of the explosion and ran away from their homes. And we were able to reunite some of the cats and dogs with their owners and with their families. And we're going down again today, uh, tomorrow. Uh, but I'm going to be volunteering with a different NGO uh, to be cleaning the houses of the people who are still there. And it's actually very heartwarming to see everyone on the streets, everyone acting as one. You'd be walking with your carrier and with a cat inside it, and people would come and uh, smile at you and say thank you. and someone else would come and give you a sandwich or beg you to take water it's just it's really overwhelming to see how everyone has come together to try and as much as we can to overcome this the next morning after the explosion happened in beirut i went to the suggest school in ashrafi volunteering with the school du liban association walking down the streets you can hear rubbled glass from everywhere Breathe the dust still floating in the air and see the damaged homes, shops, and cars. It was like a war zone. However, it felt like Beirut had been through an an emotional roller coaster. After being traumatized with the deadly explosion, the streets were filled with young men and women with nothing but shovels and brooms in their hands, ready to help out anyone in need based on their own initiative. Others were handing out food and beverages. It was overwhelmingly indescribable. After 30 years of corruption, the Lebanese government has failed Lebanon once again. What happened on August 4 is not acceptable. People are dead, many are wounded, and a lot of them are missing. We need action, we need solutions, and we need to put an end to this situation. This year was horrible when it comes to the economic situation and the the type of living that i don't know if we have to call it living we were only surviving starting with the revolution that gave us a lot of hope and then we entered into uh, an unknown economic crisis and after it into a global virus and now with an explosion that left us all shocked horrified and uncertain of our future